is listening. It appears I have developed a new coping strategy. I've got these two red spots here and I've started to like bite. What is COVID doing to us? <laughs> Anyway, how are you guys? I really hope you're doing well. Today's video is gonna be to third years, mainly because of a few people that have um, commented on my previous videos saying that they have been very helpful for third years. So here is one for you. So for you third years, congratulations, you have come so far and you have not got long left. However, today's video I want to offer I guess a little bit of reassurance to you and a few reminders. Third years, my goodness, you are so, so hard on yourself and I'm kind of talking to myself in the future. Past? What? Anyway, it is so easy to want to be perfect. It is so easy to try and perfect the art of being a nurse, but you are still a student and you are still going to make mistakes. You are going to make mistakes in this final management placement and you are going to potentially punish yourself more for them, but please don't. There is absolutely no need to. The main thing that you need to do is to reflect on the mistake and to try and learn how, where, when, why that mistake happened. Reflection is something that you will have heard about in your three year nursing career. And if first years are watching this, you will start to understand the pivotal importance of needing to reflect. But as a third year, it no longer becomes just an activity that you do as part of an assignment or as part of your practice assessment document. Reflection is the key for you to be able to move from punishment over a mistake to actively learning and developing yourself professionally. So harness those mistakes as opportunities to learn and to further fine tune your professional development skills. As third years going into management placements, I really need you to remember that you are not going to be perfect, that you are not going to be the end of your learning career or journey. It is only just starting in fact. But one of the points that I want to take you back to is that idea that going between first year, second year and third year is not some magical step up that you're at this level, step up now I'm at this level. You have to put a lot of work and energy into getting to that next level. So don't feel like you're going to be there overnight or on your first day of management placement that you're going to be this perfect student nurse that is ready to qualify. Absolutely not. And you know what? Even at the end of your final management placement, on your final day when you get all your paperwork signed, you are still not going to be perfect. The main things that I could tell you for your final management placement experience would be to be present always at every single moment of that day on placement, be present. By that, I mean actively engage in your surroundings, actively engage in handovers, in those conversations that maybe as a second or first year you were like, hell no, I'm not getting involved. Start to, you know, take that jump, take that leap of faith, have trust in the team that you're working with, that they're gonna have your back, to start to experience some of those very unique situations that you may only get that opportunity to develop as a student. So even in that final placement, you are still going to have to seek out learning opportunities. So make sure you're staying tuned into your environment that you're in, so you can pick up on any of those opportunities that may come your way. So the one thing that I will always tell any nurse, any student, is find the fun in your day. If that fun is sitting with the families, sitting with the patients, talking through any treatment plans, playing with the children if you're a children's nurse like me, or hell if you're an adult nurse and there are siblings that come in and that's the best time for you as a nurse is when you see that family interact, then try to build that into your day because it's at those moments that people around you are going to see the real you and the you that is having fun at work. Nursing is hard. So why would you not want to build in 
a couple of moments of your day where you can have a laugh and a joke with the people that you're working with and looking after. I once worked with a final year student in her final placement and she was terrified of speaking to families because she was worried about what questions she may get asked. So we talked and it was definitely an objective that we set to be able to find the natural rhythm in her professional being where she was able to have a conversation with the family and not be so apprehensive. Through quite a lengthy discussion over many days and a lot of homework on her side of digging deep into her soul to figure out how she could potentially unlock some of this behavior. She realized that she really enjoyed research and she was currently sitting the research module in her final placement and she was learning a lot about how as a professional you're able to develop high quality clinical care and for her that was definitely underpinned with that theoretical research knowledge. So we brought that into the clinical area and that at the time for me was an oncology ward for children. Anybody that's been on an oncology ward, hematology ward will know that a lot of the care provider is based on research protocols. So because she understood and she enjoyed research and she was terrified about interacting with the families in case she would get asked questions about things that she had no idea over, we focused her day on learning the protocols for the patients that she was looking after. So not only was she developing her core clinical skills as a nurse on that ward, she was also able to develop her professional knowledge around the care that we were giving those families. So when she was able to go into a room, she would target her conversations to ask them if they had any questions about the treatment that they were undergoing. Thus, a conversation starts between the patient and her. Once that conversation starts, it's so much easier to keep it going. For her, that confidence boost was more than anybody could have ever imagined. She was able to go into patients' rooms and have genuine, open, honest conversations. And she truly, from that, just flourished. And she still works in the hospital, so she is absolutely in the right place and is loving life. You should, by third year, be in a very good place with your fundamentals of nursing care. Being a third year doesn't just mean developing those other skills that you need, but it's about really honing in on and mastering those fundamentals and being able to teach your juniors and to really make a difference in the nursing care that you provide through those really robust nursing skills. Enjoy that final placement. It's the last time that you will have the Teflon coating of being a student. If there is any Anything that I can do to help you third years then make sure you leave a comment below let me know that you like this video as always stay safe and enjoy yourself